Hi, I'm Valerine. Come stick with me and learn some of my eats and treats recipes. Remember to subscribe now. So today we will be making a potato pudding and uh, I have the ingredients all prepped here so I will tell you the ingredients that are going into that tasty pudding man and I should let you know that the potato that I'm using is this one the North American version which is referred to as a yam and it makes a difference because these ones have I think more oils and they are softer so when you use them you need more flour in your pudding let's get to it and tell you the ingredients here I have two cups of the potato all grated and it's not simply a potato pudding but it's a potato coconut pudding so we have two cups of coconut and a cup and a half of sugar and in here i have all my dry ingredients so i have six cups of flour and i am doing a combination of all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour so i have three cups of whole wheat and three cups of all-purpose and then i have three teaspoons of baking powder it's a half a teaspoon to each cup of flour a little dash of salt which probably is about a quarter teaspoon a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and about a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg so all that is in this bowl and so now oh yeah i should tell you guys too that Sometimes I like to put raisins in my puddings, whether it's cornmeal or potato pudding. And so I will be putting a little raisin in this pudding. And so I've just put it in a little water, a half a cup of raisins with a half a cup of water to rehydrate so they get a little plump, you know. We're just going to go ahead and combine our ingredients right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the grated potato and grated coconut into the bowl and I'm going to start mixing them. Then I'm going to add my sugar and I'm going to mix. So you just need a good wooden spoon to do all your mixing. To this, I'm going to add a cup of water. Then I'm going to add my raisins with the water that they're in. And it's starting to smell good, so good. I've mixed all my dry ingredients together in the bowl. So I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients little by little. And if this batter gets too tight, then I'll add more water because I know the general consistency that I'm looking for to make the pudding. It shouldn't be too runny, but it shouldn't be too tight. Okay, so that's about half of that dry mixture. And I'm going to mix it in. So it is getting a bit tight and I still have half of my dry ingredients. So I'll go ahead and I'll pour another cup of water in and I'll mix. I 
add some more dry ingredients. As a matter of fact, I'll add the rest of it. gonna add another cup of water and I'm not worried that the water is gonna dilute the taste of the pudding because remember now I have the coconut in there with all its lovely milk yeah it is a workout for the muscles that biceps. <laughs> the flour has been incorporated nicely, but it is pretty tight, so I'm going to add a half a cup of water this time. Because at this point, I want to be careful not to add too much water to the mixture. It's all mixed together nicely. And I won't put any more water in here because this North American potato does tend to um, give you a softer pudding. Okay, so the batter is ready for the oven and the oven has been preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And while I was preheating the oven, I also heated up the baking pan because what I'm doing now is basting it with butter. And then after I finish basting it with butter, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some flour in. And this is so that the pudding does not stick in the pan. So I'll just get the whole thing coated. And after the whole thing has been coated, I'll just knock the rest out. No, it looks a bit like it's thick, but believe me, when you work with North American sweet potatoes, aka yam, you got to be very careful. If not, when your pudding is finished, it will be so soft that you can't even slice it. So I'll just spread this out. And then when I'm baking, I just like to give my pans a few taps on the countertop to get everything settled in the pan. And so now, there we go, it's ready for the oven. So I'll just let it bake until it's fully done. And I'll show you guys how I know it's done when it gets to the other side. So see you on the other side. I'm checking on the cake after about an hour and a half or so. And I'm just gonna stick a knife in it to see how it looks. Oh, it's getting there. I'm just going to cover it with this tin sheet and close back the oven. That's maybe about a half an hour or so to go. 
So the pudding is done guys and it's out of the oven but it's not quite ready to be cut yet. It needs to get a little cool. So I'm gonna sit, let it sit for a bit and then I'll come back and get a slice and show you what it looks like. It's time to cut the cake now guys. The pudding. There we go. That's the pudding, guys. It's still pretty steamy. But I think it's looking lovely. This is my Jamaican inspired potato coconut cake finished with some raisins thank you guys so much for watching i hope you tried the recipe and please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe okay share and like every share every like every comment helps the channel to grow thank you so much you take care now now see you for the next recipe